in an early 90s sitcom, the late Irish comedian Sean Hughes would face tricky situations by musing, what would Beckett do? He was speaking for a whole generation of the intelligent, sensitive young for whom Beckett was an uncompromising master artist. The speaker in The Unnameable says, I alone am man and all the rest divine, which is a rather Gnostic take on William Blake's insight, everything that lives is holy. The suffering expressed by Beckett is like the mystic's dark night of the soul, with the added despair of night being endless and the mystical vision reduced to gleams in the skull. Crap, the failed writer, voices some of the best passages ever written by Beckett, passages almost Keatsian in their lyricism. This is another aspect of the play's appeal. Ultimately, it is the human, all-too-human nature of Crap's last tape that has made it a hit with the public. Beckett usually preferred the extreme case, but remorseful types like Crap can be found in any street, often very close to home. The repeated yes at the end of how it is, is an unambiguous dismissal of almost everything that has gone before. Yes, this story has been all balls all along. The only thing that isn't denied at the end is the aloneness in the mud and the dark. That's life. The rest is fiction.